members of the House and the Senate in Washington, and who knows, maybe right here in the state capitol, that are being bought and sold with political yeah. action. Look at the legislation. The federal single payer HR 676 Congressman Conyers bill. It's nine pages. Nine pages. Our bill, Senate Bill 400 in this state. You know how many pages it is when you go to the internet and spit it out? It's 26 pages in big type. 26 pages. <laughs> but when you go to the halls of Congress and you try to understand and look up, you have a thousand page plus piece of legislation. It is downright gobbledygook. And it's gobbledygook because they want to keep you in the dark. It's a gobbledygook bill because they want to dissuade the American people from understanding something very basic and very simple, and that is we have a system of federal Medicare, and that's all we're asking and demanding is a expanded and improved Medicare system for all. It's not rocket science. His mother had cancer. She fought a good battle to sit in at a health insurance corporation. He was arrested to make a moral statement. In fact, he's refusing to get out of jail. And when you go around the country, hundreds of people right now are engaging in nonviolent, peaceful, civil disobedience, no different than what we had to do with the civil rights yeah. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, it may come to that. So whatever the battle cry is, Whatever the demand is that we unite, whether it's through petitions or writing your elected officials or getting in your face meetings, if we have to sit in or sit down or shout up or shout out, whatever we're going to do, we're going to keep on keeping on and we are going to fight to get single-payer health care. Thank you and God bless you.